Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 17th of February, Holy Mother, the Church calls us to the memory of the founders, the seven founders of the Severite Order. The Severite Order is the fifth mendicant order in the Church. It was formed in the 13th century in Italy, in Florence, a time where the Church was going through a very low moral standards and especially the Qatari heresy, the heresy which maintained that the good and evil both had separate creators. Uh, such heresy was uh, uh, ruining the faith of people and creating havoc among people. And in such time, uh, there were seven uh, people who on the day of the Assumption, uh, they were all gathered together and Mother Mary appeared to them. Alexis Falconeri, Buagfileno Molando, Monlado, uh, Benedict del Antella, Bartolome Amedi, Ricores Ujocione, Gerardione Sostengini, and John Buagionta of Florentine Confraternity named Laudesi. So they we had a confraternity, like a small group like the Vincent de Paul. So these, the two of them were married, two of them were widowers, and they were all coming together and praying. And that's when Mother Mary appeared to them and told them to found a new congregation. Therefore, they went uh, and uh, after settling the issues with their dependents, they founded a congregation called as the Order of the Servants of St. Mary, Ordero Fratrum Servorum Sancte Marie. Uh, they, followed, uh, the, they followed the order of St. Augustine of Hippo as a rule. They carried out these directives under the guidance of St. Peter of Verona, O.P., devoting themselves to much prayer and penance and silence. On the other hand, teaching and preaching various ministerial activities, they went on. Uh, only one of their founders, Alexis Falconieri, a lay brother, he was the one who had this uh, great uh, dignity of having... Uh, having seen, witnessed the congregation raised to the height of a religious order in the year 1304 by Pope Benedict the 14th, the Benedict XI. He died on 17th February 1310. And then later when the chapel was being built, they found uh, the bodies of the seven being buried there. And from there, the bodies were removed and moved in different places and now it is enshrined in the chapel of the holy founders. So dear brethren, basically a prayer group became a religious congregation. A prayer group became a religious congregation. That's the power. If two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in their midst. We come, pray together, the Lord will work. I am a witness of so many prayer groups, completing one year, two years. I was there at the beginning of their prayer group. I was just a brother or deacon then. And I was there and now people are celebrating two years anniversaries. And you know how their prayer groups are? Every day during lockdown, they had prayers for two, three hours online. They have uh, every first Friday people online uh, stay awake the whole night and pray together. Sometimes 15, 20 people have Bible study every day. All done by lay people, lay prayer groups. So please, we shall not say that what can I do? I am just a lay person. I am busy with my own work. You can do great things from where you are. Only will and wish, dream and desire to serve God should be there. So dear brethren, let these seven founders of the Severite Order be a model to us. Amen.